We are so excited because we're only about a week and a half away. It's coming quick. Yeah. <laughs> from heading to New Orleans to go on a Disney Magic for a Disney cruise. Today, we want to tell you a little bit about what we're, what our thoughts are about the fact that this is a viewer cruise. We're going to tell you what that means, our thoughts about it, um, about our thoughts about going to New Orleans. Yep, and just in a little bit, we're also going to be sharing what we're bringing with us. Yeah. And we're going to be packing. We're going to be packing. We've already started a little bit, laying stuff out, and we are ready to get packing because we're leaving soon. We're so excited. Since the beginning of this year, we've seen a lot of new people come to our channel. And so if that's one of you, we're so glad you're here. And thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of our community. And it's always good for us to know that you're here and you're new by letting us know in the comments. So make sure uh, at any point in the video, feel free to, to give us a comment, shout out, say hi, uh, and let us know how you found us. Yeah, and we just, we love interacting with people on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook. Uh, we've met so many people, yeah. and that is one of the reasons we're really excited about the viewer cruise. So about a year and a half ago, we went on the first viewer cruise that our friends Adam and Sherry Leg from Leg Life, the YouTube channel Leg Life, organized, set up, and we had such a good time. Yes. And Adam was asking a few of us, hey, should we do this again? And like the day after we got off the ship, yeah. maybe it was even the same day we got off the <laughs> yeah, ship. We're communicating with them and just talking about different ideas and thoughts. Not too long after that, he announced this second viewer cruise. Mm -hmm. And it's with our friends, uh, the legs from Leg Life, our friends, uh, Justin Lacey Zachman and their family from the YouTube channel R Zero, also friends of ours, uh, Crystal and Bryson Rains. They have a YouTube channel called For Love of the Mouse. And there's other content creators coming as well, but so much of, from our group for the viewer cruise group are people like you guys watching this. Some of you are coming and a lot of other viewers from other channels are coming too. So we're so excited to see this finally happen. Yeah, and Chris and I were just talking about this morning. We were we were talking about, I guess, the, the kind of weirdness of our lives where we've actually, I would say, made a bunch of friends through YouTube. Yeah. And some of them we've met and some of them we haven't met. And it's really cool. It's not something we were ever really expecting, but I was just messaging with one of our viewers this morning. We were talking about, you know, maybe being in her location in the future. And I was talking to Chris about just how, how cool it is at our point in life where we kind of see the same people out. We don't usually make new friends, Yeah. but we've made a bunch of friends that were we feel a connection with yeah. through YouTube yeah. and some of them are you and some of them, you know, it's because you've commented a lot or you've messaged us and I don't know, it's just really neat. Yeah. So that's part of what we're excited about for the viewer cruise. A lot of you are coming. Yep. Some of you aren't. And we wish more of you could come yes. or coming. And we know a number of people that planned on this, booked it and then had to cancel, which was, uh, yeah. I know, yeah, sad. <laughs> so. For those of you who don't know what a viewer cruise is, basically that's what it is. This cruise was happening and then a bunch of us decided to book it and we all know that we're going together and we're going to meet. Yeah. In just a few moments, we're gonna show you guys what we're bringing, what we're packing, but before we do that, we wanna talk a little bit about the what it's gonna look like for us to be on a viewer cruise with almost 200 other people that know us from our channel. Uh, maybe they got to know us and they're, you know, from the legs or the Zachmans or the Reigns, but the reality is we connect with you guys through a screen. Yeah. And the dynamic that we have is that we are going on this cruise, not just the two of us, mm -hmm. but also with our two girls, Lindsay and Alyssa, and they're teenagers. And well, why don't you talk more about some of that? Yeah. So, I mean, there's just a few things we want to we want to tell you, those of you who are going and those of you who aren't going, just about our thoughts about the whole thing. I mean, as I said earlier, we're super excited to meet people and talk to people. And that is like the biggest thing that we're excited about. Um, but then there's also some like, I guess for me, especially a little bit of nervousness. Yeah. Um, and I was I was talking to Chris about it earlier and I was comparing it to when we used to go camping a lot and our kids were little and we would set boundaries, you know, like don't go past the big tree, like stay over here, like go have fun, but but keep these things in mind. For the cruise, we, we have a few, probably I'd say family boundaries. Um, we, we aren't gonna tell you all of the things that we've, we've told our girls about basically just a kind of common sense things. Yeah. Um, but we, we do need to communicate 
We've decided not to share our stateroom number. Um, a lot of people have started asking us for it for really sweet reasons. Um, and it's hard to say we're not gonna share our stateroom number, but just in the safety of our teenagers, we are not gonna um, share our stateroom number. And like Chris said, you see us a lot through the screen and you will recognize us, um, I would think. We, pro we, we might recognize we some might, of you guys. We might recognize some of you. It would be less likely for our kids to recognize you. And, and they're, they're excited to go on a cruise. I mean, they're not as excited about the fact that this is a viewer cruise. They're not unexcited, Yeah. but they're, they're like, we're going on a Disney cruise. They, they haven't made the connections with a lot of the people in our community like we have. Yeah. It's been, if you're chatting with someone, it's one of us. Yeah. Um, so as it should be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what we've said to them is if someone says hi to you, say hi back, but it's, we don't really want them to just have conversations when we're not around um, with adults. Yeah. If if you are a kid, if you're a teenager, and you're on the viewer cruise with us. Yeah, yeah. And you see them, then you know, go ahead, have conversations with them. But uh, for adults, we would ask, please don't have conversations with our kids when we're not around because um, we just want to keep them safe. And I know that you understand what I'm saying when yeah. I'm saying that. Like Carrie said, we want to have an amazing time. We want to connect with you guys. And by the way, uh, some Carrie said a moment ago, maybe think when you see us, make sure you say hi. Yeah. Don't assume that we're going to know you right away Yeah. because we'll recognize your name, but we don't always put a face to the name. Uh, when some of you have have like you know a kitty cat as your as your profile picture yeah. so we might not know what you look like um but yeah we really i mean we're doing this because we want to connect with yes. people so do talk to us introduce yourself to us and we are excited about that the other thing is i know a lot of you care about our kids and so i, I know you're not taking what i'm saying in a harsh way and you probably feel like yeah that's true people probably shouldn't stop the kids and talk to them when the adults aren't around and so for those of you who are probably most of you you know just you can have your eyes on our kid too and in it like <laughs> if you see anything weird i'm sure there's nothing weird that's going to happen probably I, not i am paranoid sometimes i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry it's just you don't have to apologize yeah i also just i guess i feel a little nervous about there's so many people that we've connected with and I, I am excited to meet everyone, but sometimes, even though I'm an extrovert, I get worried about, you know, forgetting someone's name or forgetting, you know, and I don't want to offend anyone. Yeah. Um, I, I was thinking about uh, Cynthia and, <laughs> Cynthia and Joe. Joe. Yes. And the Our, whole... These, these, by the way, we met them on the last viewer cruise and they're amazing. Amazing and, couple. Yes. And they, I know they forgave me for this, <laughs> but I was calling Cynthia, this husband, Bob. Well, I was, his name is Joe, but I was calling him Bob for the whole cruise. And I don't know why. I just went along with it because I assumed she was right. I should never say I'm right. No, actually, you should always oh, assume I'm okay. right. <laughs> always <laughs> assume I'm right. Let's just keep going with that. I know Cynthia would agree with me. Okay. And, and so would Joe. Yeah. Everyone does. Never mind. Anyway, let's keep going. I, I'm going to keep going. They were really nice about it because they watched our vlog and I referred to him as Bob and Cynthia said, well, that's great. And my husband, Joe, is wondering who's this Bob guy. <laughs> so after, that was the first vlog that came out. And every vlog after that, I came in and dubbed. <laughs> I said Joe in my mic at home and best I could dubbed it in there and it became this thing. Yeah. So, it was, it was, so OK, that was a funny version, but I still felt <laughs> really embarrassed yeah. and really bad and so and we saw them several times and i just got his name wrong so yeah. um forgive me in in advance if i get your name wrong well here's the thing and i used to be a youth pastor and something i would tell parents all the time is hey let's assume the best out of each other like yeah. i'm gonna assume when your kid's talking not so great about their parents i'm gonna assume their kid is not telling the whole story well there's two sides uh, and there's two sides um and i guess in the same way Assume the best from us that we really want to connect with you and get to know you guys and we might get your names wrong or forget. And I would say just, yeah, be patient. Bear with us. <laughs> so I will just say, I'll tell you right now, please introduce yourself to us. But I know, especially that first day, I'm going to feel very overwhelmed with meeting lots of people. Yeah. And it's it's going to make me really a little bit anxious, Yeah. but it's OK. Still, please introduce yourself to me, but just give me some grace. I don't want to disappoint people and 
I want to meet people and I want them to know that. So, yeah. okay, I'm done. I'll stop with that now. But now you know how we feel about this. Yeah. Besides that, we're just so excited. We're going to New Orleans. We're going on the magic. So many fun things coming, lots of good food. So right now, actually, maybe in the next day or two, we're gonna show you guys what we're packing. And so we're gonna turn the camera off now and then pick it back up in a day or two. Yep. Well, it's the next day. I am getting a few things ready right now. Actually, I have a whole bed full of clean clothes that need to be folded. So I'm gonna be working on that. And as soon as those clothes are folded, it's gonna be time to pack and Carrie is busy making dinner and doing some other things. This is my job, so I'm gonna get started. But before I get started, I'm actually watching our friends, uh, Bryson and Crystal, uh, their uh, YouTube channel for Love of the Mouse, and they just uploaded their re-embarking video. Uh, they did a back-to-back -back on the Disney Wish, uh, I think a month ago or so. And we've just been watching this and it's some, just a lot of fun uh, and just really interesting seeing the process of what a back to back cruise looks like. They're actually going on our cruise with us on the magic. So make sure you check them out. They're an awesome couple. Check them out. They, they do a great job uh, putting Disney content together. And yep, there's Crystal. All right, we are in another room in our house now. Uh, got all of the clothes folded and actually already packed most of my clothes in packing cubes and now we are downstairs and there's me and then Carrie is a little fuzzy back there. She's going to show you guys what she did to set this space up as like our staging area for packing. As I've been doing things recently and noticing things like oh I think I want to take this I thought I just need another room to put it in so it won't be in my way in our room. So I separated our guest bed into four segments. Um, Cause if I saw something for Lindsay or Alyssa or Chris that I thought somebody would wanna take, I just put it in their little square. So this is way more organized than I've ever been before. Lindsay and Alyssa probably won't pack for a few more days, but just as laundry has been getting done and we've been doing some things you know, we remember, oh, we're gonna pack the ears. Oh, Lissa has like a Disney cruise purse she'll probably wanna bring. We've just been putting it in each person's spot. It's, I feel like maybe this time, this will help me not overpack. One thing I heard before is to make sure one of the first things you pack is passports. So I just put them down here on the bed. We have our passports, don't wanna forget that. Um, have a book I'm gonna read, that's exciting. I have some really cute, Disney Cruise nails. I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna use yet. This one is Disney Cruise. And then this one is Disney Cruise. And then I have uh, Inside Out and I have Rapunzel. I have to decide which ones I'm gonna wear. I, I'm kind of thinking about Rapunzel because I know there's Rapunzel's table on this cruise. Rapunzel's royal table. Yes. And also you can leave a, leave a note in the comments because you'll see this video before we actually leave. So which of these nails do you think I should wear? I have a bunch of my Disney shirts, Castaway Key, Disney Cruising. I'm only gonna, I feel like I need more. I, I, I told myself I was only gonna bring five. That's probably not enough. Well, so. we're on the ship for six days. I mm. found these really cute linen shorts at Costco. They were only $9.99. So these with just like a plain black or white or gray shirt, I thought would be cute. Um, so yeah, I, I bought four, but they were only $9.99 each and I don't have a lot of shorts right now except for jean shorts. I packed those as soon as I bought them. have all my bathing suits, my cover-ups, I have a rain jacket because it's supposed to rain when we get to New Orleans. We have our binoculars. We love to have binoculars right here on our balcony. We have earplugs because we all sleep at night in our um, either hotel room or on the cruise ship with earplugs. Um, anything that I found that's Disney that the girls might want to wear, these are Alyssa's new um, Scarlet Wish ears she got for Christmas, so mm -hmm. she's excited to wear those. Lindsay has hers that she wore last year on the Fantasy and the Wonder. Alyssa got this really cute dress. Um, she went shopping with my mom for Christmas and she picked out this dress, so she is excited to wear that. Band-aids, bathing suits, lots of sunscreen. That's true, we have sunscreen and we have snacks for the plane. I think Chris has a few things down here. He doesn't have as much as I do, but he has a few things to show you too. All right, so this is a mug. It's like a travel mug thing. It's plastic, but it works because it gives me more room for coffee than this tiny little like 
plastic mugs they give you in cabanas. This is like, we got this on Amazon, but it's a luggage scale. So it gives us a chance to weigh the luggage. So we get off the ship, if we've collected anything, whether it be like souvenirs, gifts, other things like that, that people have given us, then it gives us a chance to weigh our luggage to make sure we're under 50 pounds. These are pirate bandanas that they give you. Normally I wouldn't think about bringing these, but I have heard lately that they aren't always giving these out anymore. Hopefully that's not true, but just in case I want to bring those. We got our hamper, which folds out and fits perfectly in the closet to put our dirty clothes. It's an essential thing that we bring every time we go on a cruise that our friends, uh, the legs, uh, showed us a few years ago in one of their videos. This is my hat box that also uh, my friend Adam uh, highlighted in one of their packing videos. Just got some ha hats that I'm going to wear and it keeps them nice and protected, it keeps the shape for the hats. This is the D23 luggage tag that came with our gold membership this last year. Here are our luggage tags, and these just came like a couple of days ago, so perfect timing for those. Here is a shirt that I'm gonna be wearing that Carrie got me at Kohl's. Yeah, we got shirts for all of us at Kohl's uh, that are St. Patrick's Day Disney. I had to return mine, it was too big, even though it was a junior's, but uh, their sizing was weird for those. I'm hoping that the right one will come in time because I had to reorder it. Yeah, and it's St. Patrick's Day when we board yeah. the magic. Here's my uh, my little backpack that I love that Chris got me for Christmas or my birthday or something. Birthday. Because I love it because it has Disney and it has books. So it's always nice to have a bag to carry around on the ship. These are hooks that uh, you can see the L for Lindsay. One of our uh, viewers, I think, gave these to us on the fantasy cruise that we went on last year. Uh, they pixie dusted, us, pixie dusted us these and they each have our initial. We put them on the back of the, the stateroom door, which is metal. So the magnet connects to the metal and we hang our lanyards. Speaking of lanyards, this is the coffee card you get when you go to get coffee on a Disney cruise ship. You can buy five coffees and you get the sixth one for free. Everyone has always told me that you can carry this over from one cruise to the other. Just saw some on Twitter today that Disney said that's no longer going to be the case. You can actually see, I don't know if you can catch it right down there. It says not transferable between cruises or parties. Oh. Well, that is interesting. If Disney sticks to that and tries to enforce that, there's gonna be a lot of people that are bummed out because I know that's one of the things we've really loved about these is we keep our one that we use and we bring it on the next cruise. In this case, you can see there's no marks. I mean, honestly, that's the whole reason we book another cruise because we need to fill up that card. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> these actually are friends. Uh, the rains uh, turn us on to these. Uh, this goes into a European outlet, which on the older ships, the Wonder and the Magic, they have a European outlet next to uh, the main bed, the queen bed in the stateroom. So that way we can get a normal plug and two USB plugs uh, and actually another one right here uh, out of that. So that's kind of handy to have that. Got that on Amazon. Probably got most of this stuff on Amazon. Yep. <laughs> Let me show you one of the reasons it's hard to not overpack. Um, Here's the pile of shoes for now. These are just the, you know, female shoes yeah. for our family. So not just me. I mean, this is we have two daughters. Not me. Yeah, these are not your shoes. But this is what makes it hard to pack everything in one suitcase. All the shoes, and I'm not done yet. I mean, I'm trying to go light on shoes, but I think I'm just going to bring one dress. And then I'm going to have a skirt. Because I know I've brought a lot of dresses in the past and not worn them. So I think I'm going to go with this dress. This was the one we got, I got in um, Hawaii. Yep. So it's just casual, but fun and nice and, and comfy. That's where I'm at right now. I may bring another dress. I did already pack all of my toiletries. I would show you, but I'm afraid if I open it, I'll never be able to close it again. So I've got all my toiletries in here and... That's a small toiletry bag. I have um, adapted my ways. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything important. Like We're trying to be minimal, but it's so hard. I don't really get motion sickness, but I take bromine every day um, because our first cruise, I did feel a little seasick. And so bromine is the one that doesn't make you feel drowsy. And then at night, I usually take Dramamine. And for both of those, I do the generic version because it's way cheaper. But yep. we have plenty of that in there. We bought this cooler bag oh, yeah that's right yeah we bought it on one of the cruises now it's hard to remember it was on the fantasy yeah 
So they sell these with cold water bottles when you go out for an excursion and you're like, oh yeah, I need water bottles. So um, we're gonna bring this on the plane with some lunches and snacks because our plane, our uh, layovers are really short and we're leaving really early in the morning and we don't know if we'll have time to get food. It'll also be really nice to have for our beach excursion on Cosmo. Exactly, so we'll have it for the plane and then we'll have it for our beach excursion. We'll bring water. I am going to get down the suitcases and start putting stuff in them. Yay. For New Orleans not this Wednesday but next Wednesday so my problem with packing this early is I always forget what I've started packing and and then I'm, I'm like short on some of the stuff so I think what I'm gonna do is make a list of things I've packed and things I still need it still need but you can't look at it I made the executive decision to only bring one pair of nice nicer shoes I don't think I need black if I really want black and wear my black flip-flops. We're going pretty simple on this cruise. Like, I don't think I'm bringing any super fancy clothes. Oh, oh boy. Well, he wants to come with us. Come here. Come on. Do you want to come with my suitcase? I always bring my running shoes. I have this idea in my mind that I'm going to go running, and I never use them, and they take up this much space. We'll go on walks around Duck Farm. I love to walk. I'll yeah. walk around and around and around, but I feel like... And we, we walk the stairs a lot. Oh, yeah. That's our exercise. That is mainly our exercise. Last time we made a packing video, we were talking about how we were just gonna bring carry-on bags and we were packing that way. And then after we finished our video, we had to unpack everything and put them in our big- Didn't happen. Because we couldn't do it. And that was on a four night cruise. This is a six night cruise. Plus we're gonna be in New Orleans before. But there's always so much stuff that does not get worn that I bring with me. And I might even do some laundry because sometimes it's nice to, you know, wash mm -hmm. a few things. I don't know why I feel stressed out right now. We're going on vacation soon. Packing is stressful. So like I said, I got a few polo shirts here and a couple of uh, just pairs of pants, pretty typical pants. I got my garment bag just to keep them all together. Got some shoes that Nico's next to. I got pretty much all the stuff that I'm gonna be packing in these packing cubes. So I am pretty much, I'm not packed up, but all my stuff is like ready to go, I think. I'm gonna work on my list. Okay. While Carrie's working on her list, uh, I thought I'd update you guys on a couple things. Uh, a number of you guys have been asking how the job search is going. Uh, still looking, still uh, searching <laughs> actively, uh, throwing the resume out there and just kind of seeing uh, who bites. And But I've been having some amazing conversations with some people who are just incredibly helpful. Even a few of you guys have uh, chipped in and helped me out and uh, been super grateful for those connections. So. Uh, just continue praying and that God will lead me to the right place that he wants me to be at. But uh, until then, uh, we're super fortunate to be in the place to where I don't need to find something right away. And I I feel like that's, that's a gift that I don't deserve because uh, there's so many people out there right now that have been laid off this year, uh, especially in the tech sector, that are looking for jobs. And if that's one of you, uh, my heart goes out to you. We're super thankful. I have the space to be able to look for something that I really want to do and that I have the time to be able to find a company that I believe in their values and want to work with them. We have the ability for me to be able to take my time looking for a job because this lady over here is my sugar mama. <laughs> kind of kidding. Her job pays for the bills. Uh, she has great benefits through her job that we uh, are just super fortunate to have. And we've been smart. We've been able to save. And so we have the ability to, for me to do this. So I'm super, again, thankful and grateful for that. I had the brilliant idea of pixie dusting Ghirardelli chocolate because that's a local thing for us that I thought we could bring. I'm now thinking, I don't know if it was the best idea because it feels really heavy as I'm about to pack it in our suitcase. Let's see here. 7.7 .7 pounds of chocolate. That's a lot of chocolate. We have milk chocolate. I think there's 75 in each of these bags. Dark chocolate sea salt caramel. And then assorted. When there's like cho dark chocolate mint, there's milk chocolate, dark chocolate, regular milk chocolate caramel, lots of options. A lot of chocolate. I don't know how we're gonna spread all these out in our bags so that our bags don't get too heavy. I think what one thing we can do is we could pack some kind of like a duffel bag mm -hmm. with some of these kind of things because we do have, we I think we can like check 
two bags? That's each? true. And then we'll have an extra bag to bring home with souvenirs. Yes. It's getting late. It's about nine o'clock. So I think we're going to call it a night right now and probably come back in a day or two when we're actually done. If there's anything we didn't mention, we'll mention it that when we close it out. But for right now, I think we want to call it a night and we'll see you guys in a day or two. Well, we decided to uh, head out of the house and do a little bit of shopping for some stuff and we ended up at the dollar store and there's a couple things we want to get for the cruise there's a lot of things that we like to get for the cruise at the dollar store one of the things is thank you cards um, we like to write thank you cards to lots of people on the cruise like people who help us especially our stateroom attendants and our uh, servers but anytime we see somebody we want to say thank you to we could write them a quick card looking at all these toys in the toy aisle i think we're past the day where we get the girls toys for like the car ride or the plane ride. <laughs> I do usually get glow sticks from the dollar store before we go just about anywhere. Pirate night. Yes. All right, we need a couple of toothbrushes because we need to refill our toiletry kit. More snacks? It's not a snack, it's for the movies. Reese's Pieces. I don't know if I'm gonna see a movie on the ship. We're gonna see shows and no, we need snacks for the shows. Yes, we do. All right. I'm looking for the girls' favorite candy for movies is the Bunch of Crunch. Oh, they yeah. Have crunch. Bunch of Crunch. We found it. I'll get the whole thing. I'm going to give me some Junior Mints because I used to have these when I was a kid when I went to the movies. And it was one of my favorite things to have as a kid. And I did at the movies once, too, and then I got sick and I haven't had any since. Yep. That makes me sad that you can't enjoy these anymore. You guys, they have assorted Swedish fish. I have not seen these. I don't know how long. I love these things. Chris is making fun of me because I told him I wanted to bring my skinny pop that I bought at Costco today, but I was going to put it in a smaller bag. I wasn't going to bring the giant. I mean, that would barely even fit in my carry-on. But I thought about it today. Today at Costco, I got a bunch of snacks, some of which I thought we'd take on the plane. And I think it's a little bit funny because I, I'm trying to avoid spending money at the airport because everything's so expensive. But I spent $175 at Costco. Yo. But it wasn't just on that snacks. Was, that was a lot for a quick stop at Costco. I mean, have you ever left Costco <laughs> spending less than that? Yeah, not often, but it has happened. Yeah. All right, well, we are at CVS now. Carrie's favorite store. No. <laughs> she no. does not like CVS. I held a grudge. She holds, yeah, I don't know if you heard her, but she's, she holds grudges. And I think there was a bad customer service experience here one time. Not here, in a different town, but it still matters. <laughs> Got a few more things of candy for our friends' boys. Hope you guys like the candy. Tucker and Landon. Carrie is looking for some makeup here at no. CVS. No, nail sorry, nail polish, big difference. Hmm, I wonder what color I'm looking for. <laughs> for what? For my toes. To go with like a dress or an outfit? No, just to wear. Oh, okay. Okay, I got these four colors. They're mostly for toes. For Lindsay and I, I don't know what color Alyssa wants, but hopefully she'll like one too. Getting some Pringles, but they don't have, oh, cheddar sour cream, oh yeah, baby. Love this stuff. All right, well, we just got, oh, well, I just got home. Carrie is going to pick up the girls from youth group. Got our loot. I'm excited because I got those Pringles. At first I didn't see them there. And then I thought I'd have to go out back out again for them, but they had them. We're all set for snacks for the flight. A week from tonight, we're gonna be in New Orleans. Enjoy the meal, enjoy the city, and we cannot wait. Ugh. So excited. We are seven days from our Disney cruise. The girls are actually about to leave to go to school, but we wanted to get the girls to say hi. And also, what are you guys excited about when you are in New Orleans and on the ship? For New Orleans, um, I know it's like a lot different than California, obviously. I'm really excited to like try a lot of like the food there and to see like how the culture is different and stuff like that. Cause it just sounds like a very fun, like jazzy place to be. Jazzy vibe. Yes. For the cruise, uh, mostly like excited to make new friends. I'm also really excited because we haven't been on the magic before, um, so that'll be really fun. Uh, I'm also excited to try like the new restaurants. Um, I think they're gonna have the Tiana's place, right? Nope, they have Rapunzel's Royal Table. Oh, that sounds interesting. There's Animator's Palette and what's the Lumiere's, which is like the same as Triton's on the Wonder. That's cool. So you get to have more Ascar go. Yeah. You excited for the? Uh... The new water slide on the Magic? Oh yes, definitely that. I'm excited because it's like the little Drop. droppy one. I'm excited for that. Cool, thanks. Oh, by the way, 
I don't know if you guys have seen this yet. Lindsay got glasses. Do you like them? Yeah. Cool. They help me see like a lot better. You ready to go on a Disney cruise? Yeah. What are you excited about uh, when it comes to like New Orleans and also the Disney magic? For New Orleans, probably pralines. Pralines, like the candy? Pralines, pralines, whatever. Pralines, pralines? Yeah. What about the ship on the magic, on the cruise? I don't know, probably the water slide. Well, we got seven days till, this, till we actually board the magic. You excited? Yeah. Awesome. All right, time to head to school. <laughs> no. We are not fully packed because we're flying out, I think, next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So when you guys are watching this, I think that means we're flying out, what, four days after that? Well, they're gonna watch this tomorrow. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, uh, like, yeah, four or five days. Okay, yeah, I, I didn't major in math. <laughs> <laughs> but we are really excited, and we've been like, I've been driving around, getting some things, some gifts for some friends. Mm -hmm. You went to the dollar store to again. do some of the same again. We're trying to check everything off the list for all the things we want to do, need to do, and want to get before we leave. Mm -hmm. Before we wrap things up, we want to show your suitcases and really just kind of how we whittled everything down to just your suitcase for you and one suitcase for me. The girls have not packed yet, but Lindsay started a little bit, but uh, I think they'll finish up packing this weekend. Mm -hmm. Well, I have my suitcase and my cat. I, I said I was making a list, I started making a list, and I just threw stuff in here. So I'm, I didn't really make a list. We're not super neat packers, we just fold stuff up and throw it in. I think that you're referring to me, because your stuff's all in cute. Well, that's true. You are getting a stowaway, though. <sighs> Nico, just stop. <laughs> Hopefully we have everything we need. Uh... I think we're, we're going to be fine. Yeah. And the nice thing is we'll be in New Orleans for a couple of days before the cruise, just in case there's something we forgot. And bring a little bag for wine, sort of to remind me to buy some when we're in New Orleans, since you can bring two bottles per person, well, per adult probably. Um, I don't know if we're really going to bring that much, but I just figured. Just in case. Just in case. Yeah. And then I got a lot more gifts and... I think that we are going to be packing another suitcase for all of our like pixie dust gifts, gifts for friends, things like that. Thankfully, we don't have to use up our luggage space for that because some of those gifts might be a little bit heavy. Here is my stuff right here. Got my toiletry kit. Got, like Carrie said, packing cube, packing cube, couple pairs of shoes, and our luggage tags. A couple more packing cubes of just things. Got my socks and other things there some sandals, hat box, and my cruise bag. And we also have stickers and cards for people that we meet if they want to follow our channel. If you see us and you want a sticker, make sure to ask. We'd love to give you a sticker. We have lots. So that's our bags. We're mostly there, like we said. Got a little more work to do, but we have a few days. I'm just so excited. Me too. Thankfully, I have a lot of work to do before I leave, so... I say thankfully just because that will keep me busy and I know I can't leave till I finish it. I cannot wait to be in warm weather. I can't wait to just have delicious food. I can't wait to meet a lot of you. I'm so excited. The next time you see us, we're going to be heading to New Orleans. So make sure you guys follow us on Instagram because we'll be posting pictures there. Mm -hmm. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel here on YouTube so you don't miss any of the videos that come out when we get on the magic. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.